Sure. When finding love, you have to take steps of wisdom. You can't just be in one place in your room and expect that a lady or man will come to you out of the blues. You have to go outside to where they are and make friends. A lot of good people lack wisdom. The funny thing is that many ladies and men are looking for men and women who will have godly character and are good in their behavior. But those who have good character are silent about what they have. Wisdom is always profitable to direct you to where you find true love. If only you will yield the ways and steps of wisdom, you will be thoroughly blessed by it. When you embrace wisdom, you will know that everyone has their hobbies and you will also know that everyone has their likes and their dislikes. Wisdom also demands that when you are in a relationship, you should always have the right estimations of people. It is because of the lack of this wisdom that a lot of good people miss out on God's divine will for them. Some men meet ladies that they like at first sight, and after that time, they still treat them the same way, yet they say that they admire them. You have to be wise and intelligent when it comes to finding your love because you might be passing by your future and God's given spouse. This is why we tell people to not always frown on their faces, but always put a smile on their faces every time. It does not matter if you are happy or not. You should always have that happy face so that you can be able to attract friends to you. When doing this, you will learn courtesy and respect. You will also learn that everyone always responds to gifts. When a person lacks wisdom, they never give gifts to the person that they admire. When it comes to knowing when is the right time to marry or enter into a relationship, you have to understand that certain criteria have already been defined for us in measuring and checking which time is the best. One of them is financial maturity. It is not fleshy and carnal to think that the person that you should marry has to be wealthy. It is one thing you should reason out or think about before you marry anyone. So when someone is good in character but they are not wealthy, it is a big issue. When we talk about being wealthy, it is not necessarily talking about being so rich that you have a huge amount of money stored in the bank for you. We are talking about being financially independent and having a major source of income that can sustain you and your family. Some good people never think about the future and make wise plans concerning the future of their home. This is one of the reasons why many of them never get married or find love. So not that people are not coming to them, it is that they are not able to meet the minor needs of those that come to them. You have to be strong in your financial power so that you are able to make decisions. When you add this to your character, it will bring out more results for you and make your family and home more conducive to staying in. There is a popular saying that when you have money, friends will automatically gravitate towards you. You have to be very productive and intelligent to be able to sort out ways that you can get your finances. Some have been through stories and experiences where people just insult them or even those who they have given their whole trust and commitment to. The end break their heart and because of that they feel that it will happen so they become very selective when it comes to the choice of their life partner. Life is so full of a series of regrets and disappointments. You will meet people who will turn you off. That is normal and it is not peculiar to your case. A lot of people give up too easily, which is why they are not able to find love. Once heard someone say that he and his fiance do not quarrel because he does not like any issues and allows her to do whatever she wants. This is a big issue because it might sound as if he is being good, but that is a major tool for the destruction of that relationship because when the man does not have order, everything will be going as the lady wants, which means there will be no structure and order in that. 
There is a need for values and structures to be spelled out and defined, especially for the man. He cannot keep saying that he will be free with her and allow her to do what she wants. Many men that when they are too good and flexible, it means that the relationship will last. Women like men who have their values and structures, they might not say it, even though there might be quarrels and fights here and there, but they love it when you quarrel with them. They see it as a part of true love when you fight them. When they know what you stand for, they will respect and know that you are the real man in the relationship. Being good is not enough to find a partner or true love. It always takes the order to achieve that. It is one thing to be good and it is another to be social. Finding love has a big part to deal with being social and being friendly. Before checking on the quality of a person that people want their trust and commitment to, the first is always about how friendly and social the person is. People want someone that can flow and accompany them in life. One that has these positive vibes and someone that they can relate with and has fun vibes. That is the kind that everyone wants to be with because what matters mainly in the home, outside of what people see and love to interact with, is more than being good. It takes someone that understands romance and one who knows what is the newest and updated version of expressing love and their emotions to their spouse. This is one of the major issues with people who are good. Sometimes you meet people who are qualified for marriage and they are very good. When you check their life all around, everything is excellent. Their walk with God is good, their behavior towards others is perfect, and their generosity is good. But when you check their romantic life, it is so boring. This is one of the things that has caused a major issue in many relationships. Let's not be deceived, every marriage thrives based on sexual satisfaction. So when you are good in character, but you are not ready to be romantic, your spouse will be a major issue. Social people will always ask for dates. They will always ask for outings and they will also ask for times of recreation. Those times are so important and it is what stamps a lot of memory to a partner, especially for the ladies. Ladies always want men that can be romantic and also look romantic to them. That is why many of them fall for the deception of the wrong people because they focus so much on outward appearance and leave the criteria for a relationship out of place, which is dangerous also. But ladies are attracted to those who can be good, not just in character, but in romance. This is one of the reasons why a good person might not be able to find love.